Hey guys, today we're gonna pressure wash this 1965 VW Beetle. It's been sitting in a field in South Georgia for over 40 years. It's covered with green mold. There's dirt all buried in the rust here. It's gonna clean up really nice. I'm gonna vacuum all this glass out. We're gonna pressure wash all that dirt and mud and rust out of here. Pull out the headliner. Crusty. A little crusty. All right, gas tank is out. Not sure if we can save it. Probably be better off just getting a new one. Let's get that Speedo out of there. Something else is holding me. There it goes. Ooh! All right, it was just really tight, sealed in there, but we got it. There's a connection here, red and white. It's a blue and white, a dark blue, a light blue, a black, and a green kind of color. You guys got that? Let's see if that helps. There we go. There we go. We got it. Let's see what the date is. 11 of 64. Pretty cool. This is a 1965 model. That's a little bulb in there. All right, we'll clean this up a little bit. Hopefully it works. I'm gonna remove this flasher and then that's it. I'm not really too worried about. And we're gonna move this little clock or the fuel gauge. on these two. Okay. Our right, fuel gauge should just push out of here. I think. Yeah. There was a bracket connected to it. It's in here somewhere. There it is. It still works, that'd be cool. I'd like to get this stuff out of the way. It'd be cool to save this label, but I don't think we're gonna be able to save it. Could probably get a new one made up. I just wanna be able to get all this dirt and rust and filth sprayed out of here, rat poop and all that crap. to the tank all right that's pretty cleared out i'm just gonna hit all that really good with the pressure washer and then we'll take a closer look at what's left we're gonna hit everything inside here the pressure washer and just get all this mold and mildew dirt spider webs get it all cleaned off 
and then we're gonna vacuum all that rust and glass out of the way. Let's do that now. I think we can order this luggage tray area and we're going to need these pieces too to go from here. I forget what they call these. These two, the luggage tray, and we'll probably just take the luggage tray up to here because you don't want to mess with that area although it needs to be fixed. I don't think we're going to go that deep. I'll take out that strap, that's cool. Let me get these out of here. I try not to break the mirror, that's the headliner. It is nasty. Let's hose it down. Ooh. I'm ready.
you can see all the dirt coming off. Some of the surface rust is coming off, but that's all right. It'll, we gotta get all that dirt that's embedded in there off and then it'll, the patina will bake here in the Florida sun a little bit nicer. All right, let's keep going.
All right, let's see if we can get up underneath this a little bit. Get some of this dirt that's hiding under here. Out of here, maybe. Make it a little easier when we go to take it all off. Hopefully. <laughs> it's not too bad. The Gia had more mud and stuff in it, for sure. But this is definitely going to help us see more of the damage, which is not a great thing. But it is what it is. It's a patina ride. We're going to fix it the best we can and have some fun with it. Let's see if we can get some more of this mud out of here. It's packed in everywhere. We're gonna have to just keep hitting it really hard and scrub it a little bit with some Dawn maybe. But it's coming off. It's coming off. It's starting to look pretty good. Let's we'll really see the uh, what's left of the original paint here a little bit. Hey, you can really see the original paint underneath here. It's a nice white. Not sure exactly what white that is, but it's almost like a cream white, kind of. So, let's see if we can clean up some of this mess. All right, guys, we're getting there. Lots to clean. Uh, you can see this is some of the original paint. It's cleaning up nice. We're gonna go in here and scrub with a brush and really do a deep clean to get all that dirt out of there. Um, but yeah, under here is pretty sweet. It's cleaning up, a lot of stuff coming off. A lot of junk. Look at all that dirt and rust and stuff. We gotta get all these old seals out of here. Get these door cards off. But it's cleaning up nice. You can kind of you can see a lot better the rust problems that we have. <laughs> so the heater channels we're gonna replace. I've got those on order. The seat pedestal, luggage tray area. I've got, I haven't ordered that yet, but we're gonna get that. And these these two pieces here. And hopefully that's it. I mean, there's the tire well in the front we might do. And a little little patches here and there around the window. We're gonna just make ourselves, we're, we're gonna do this. Hopefully we can just put some patches in here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just so it holds the window and the seal. We're keeping the patina, we're keeping it rusty. But I wanna get all the loose dirt and grime off of here. We'll probably paint the engine bay so when you open the engine bay, it looks really sweet. And I'm not sure about the inside yet. We might paint the inside so the inside looks real sweet. Or we may leave the dash like that. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think below. Should we leave the dash patina? Or should we make the inside look all new and have the outside rusty? Either way, it's looking pretty cool. And... Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to work on those heater channels. It's going to be a challenge. I know it is, but I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping we can do it and get this thing back on the road. It'll be cool. This thing here is pretty bad. I want to get this lens out of here before it breaks. It's an original one. 
clean all that hole up in there. The hole's really nasty in there. Let's see if we can get this off. There we go. It's a little rusty in here. The other one's mint. Somehow this one got uh, some really bad water in here. Look at that fungus right here. Yes, yeah, pretty rusty. Pretty rusty. Look at that hole. <laughs> All right, I gotta figure out how to get this thing off of here. There we go. There we go. It needs to be cleaned up. It's pretty gnarly. I probably wouldn't get a good connection, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Those are little screws and they are rusted. Rusted. I think I'm just gonna cut those wires. All right, let's see if we can. Pretty beat up. Big hole here. I think you can buy this bucket or whatever it's called, light bucket or something. This whole round thing here. It is coming clean. Got a lot of dirt knocked out that was stuck in here, and there's still some up in these cracks, but that's all gonna come out anyway. We're gonna have to take it all out. There's the horn. Yeah, we've knocked off most of the loose dirt and rust and grime. That's pretty nasty. I'm probably going to spend uh, a few more minutes hitting it and uh, just going over it one more time. And then I'll let it dry out and we'll lower it down, get it on the cart and move it inside so we can start working on the metal. There's going to be some other stuff we got to clean up. It's going to be a process, but this is a good start. You can see all the stuff that came, came off. <laughs> all right, I'm going to clean up some more. Stand by. guys there it is all cleaned up just letting it hang here and dry out a little bit and i'm gonna lower it down and put it on a cart so we can move it inside but yeah it got cleaned up pretty good i spent probably another 30 minutes or so 
going back over the whole thing and making sure I didn't miss anything. I'm sure there's something I missed, but we got a lot of the dirt and rust and junk off, spider webs and just all that junk that was packed in the cracks. I mean, there's still some stuff down in here, but there's a root right here. And you can see there's some dirt down in there, but I mean, this is gonna have to come out. The uh, heater channels are gonna come out, so we'll be able to flush that out again once we start taking that metal off. But at least we can kind of see everything now. We can see the seams and we can see where to take the metal off. That's really why I wanted to do it so I could see what was going on. I mean, this was just packed with dirt and junk. Uh, so yeah, we can see a lot better in here. Everything's clean. I mean, it's rusty, but <laughs> that's the look we're going for on this one. And again, back here, this was really, really nasty. I mean, I hit this hard and you can see it's pitted and rusty and there's some old seal on here. Uh, but I did hit it really hard. There might still be a little bit of junk that needs to be scrubbed off. And I don't know, I'm gonna have to scrub this harder and take a closer look at it. We might have to replace these little panels here. I'm not sure how bad they are, how rusty they are. But I did hit this pretty hard with pressure washer. It's just really stubborn dirt and rust in there. So this is the luggage. This is the back of the luggage tray area. And these are those cross member bars that we're gonna replace. Uh, no, that's something else. It's a different, that's a different piece. It's all gonna be a, <laughs> yeah gonna turn into a freaking can of worms what's gonna happen but you know this piece and this piece and the other pieces it'll be a learning process one of the reasons I took it on is because the patina first of all the price and the patina and the fact that it needs work I love working on this stuff so that's how I'm learning and uh, this is my first bug so you know I got my first bug I got it cheap it's got cool patina, it's got cool potential. And for me, you know, this is perfect because it needs everything and I can just dig into everything and learn on it. Um, so, heater channels. Uh, are gonna be a challenge, but we're gonna do it. Luggage tray area. It's gonna be a challenge, but we're gonna do it. There's. There's that other panel back there we'll probably have to replace. And these panels here, there's a few panels. It's probably gonna be a thousand dollars worth of metal, but we'll pay, you know, we'll pace it over the next few weeks, um, next couple months and see how it goes. But we will continue to push forward on it uh, pretty hard the next few weeks. So, Stay tuned, I'm gonna try to give, you know, something significant every week. This week I got a little held back because I was at a sore throat and stuff, but I'm back at it and I'm pretty excited. So if all goes well, we're gonna get the heater channels this week. We'll start working on those. We'll get this up on a dolly and start taking those old heater channels out probably have to take the fenders off because we're gonna need, we're gonna need to get into here and cut this out we're gonna have to cut this out put in the heater channels replace this piece here it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a lot look at that old spark plug sitting in there <laughs> but the cool thing is you know again it's so bad it's so bad I'm trying to get the spark plug out of here see it hiding in there anyway I'm, you can see we got the dirt off and the patina is just really nice there's probably a little bit of dirt here and there but I got most of it this is where a vine was growing clean that up and we'll have to get new seals for all the windows 
gaskets, all these things are dry rotted. But we can do it. It'll be a cool ride. It's gonna be a really cool ride. I'm assuming those numbers are from the factory. I don't know what they mean, but looks like it's factory riding. Hopefully this rust in here is not too bad. We'll clean it up. Yeah. Patina ride, guys. But even to get to that point, it's still a lot of work. It's a lot of work. New pans, you know, all new brakes and heater channels and luggage tray. It's a lot. It's going to be a lot. All right, guys, we got it on the dolly. Rolls nice and sweet. I made that dolly for the Carmen Ghia body. It came in real handy. And uh, now it's working for this, so that's awesome. Um, when we actually go to work on the heater channels, we're going to get the body up off the ground somehow. Not quite sure yet. Put it up on sawhorses or something. We need to get it up, you know, decent height so we can get under there get in there and look up underneath and all that stuff. So we'll experiment it. Maybe I'll get the, that worn winch that I got and we can hook it up to the trusses in there and lift it up as, as we need it. Um, but yeah, she's clean, little rusty's all cleaned up and ready for the intense metal work that is gonna unfold. <laughs> But I'm excited because it's a learning process for me. All of this is, so, you know, I learn something every time I tear one of these cars apart. And I know it seems like I've torn a lot apart, but really it's not that many. It's only been a few. Um, and they're all in different stages of restoration. So this one, I've got a pretty clear path planned for it. This, other than the heater channels and the luggage tray and that stuff, you know, the body is staying just like this. We're not going to sandblast it. We're not going to try to paint it. We're not going to try to make it perfect. That's what we're doing on the Carmen Ghia. This, a little more straightforward. We should be able to accomplish that goal, you know, within a reasonable amount of time. And uh, get it back on the road. Have a little fun with it. And maybe we'll uh, offer it up for sale. Um, so I can use those funds to uh, fund some of the other projects I have. I'm excited. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool patina. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'll see you on the next one.
those wheels roll nice on that dolly. <laughs> All right, cool. Got it in the shop. Fits in here nicely. Very nice. All right, cool guys. Stay tuned. We got a lot of work to do on the chassis still. Um, we're gonna dig into the tunnel a little more. I'm probably gonna hit this whole thing with rust converter and let that soak in. And then we'll wire wheel the whole thing again, clean up really nice, get it ready for epoxy primer, get these pans on here and just keep pushing forward. It's gonna be pretty exciting. So stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one.